walls next to the existing tunnel and tips, and end up at the surrounding bank generating complex at Queenston Heights. Along much of its length, the new tunnel will follow the corridor of the existing tunnels, passing under the city of Niagara Falls. The inside diameter of the new tunnel's concrete lining will average 12.6 meters. But in the departure from the existing tunnels, the new Niagara Tunnel will run much deeper, as much as 140 meters underground. This will permit the new tunnel to go under the buried St. David's Gorge near the Whirlpool and avoid the need for another large open cut canal. At a diameter of 14.4 meters, the custom-made tunnel boring machine, or TDM, needed to construct the new Niagara Tunnel will be bigger than any used in Ontario and among the largest used in the world. The largest TBMs used for the English Channel Tunnel had a diameter of 8.6 meters, while the TBMs used for the Toronto Transit Commission Shepherd Subway Tunnels measured only 5.7 meters in diameter. Material excavated from the tunnel will be stored on OPG land between the two existing power canals. The Queenston Shale from about 90% of the tunnel excavation may later be used by Ontario's brick industry. When completed in 2009, the new Niagara Tunnel will supply an additional 500 cubic meters of water per second to the surrounding bank generators, increasing OPG's water diversion capacity by 27%. Seeded flow commitments for Niagara Falls will continue as stipulated in the 1953. While there will be little to see at ground level when the new Niagara Tunnel is finished, the resulting increase in power production will be significant, boosting the existing hydroelectric generators and the annual energy output by about 1,600 gigawatt hours, or 14%, enough to meet the annual needs of a city twice the size of the Niagara Falls. This additional energy will come from a water source that has provided electrical power to Ontario for a century and there is potential for future upgrades to further increase Ontario's electrical energy output at Niagara. The legacy of Sir Adam Beck's vision continues to grow.